called the enhanced NCLEX. Here is what you need to know before taking the NGN exam. Whether you are excited or you're nervous about it, this video is for you. The NGN, the Next Generation NCLEX exam, launched April 1st of 2023, so it is very, very new. There's not a lot of information out there about it yet, nor are there pass rates out there yet. But here's what I can tell you about the NGN exam. The NGN exam, in quotes, uses new types of questions to better measure clinical judgment. And clinical judgment can be life or death for a patient. The NCSBN decided to make new types of questions to judge your clinical judgment. They were already doing this on the previous NCLEX style exam, but they've decided to tweak it and make it better. So let's get into that. How is the NGN exam better than the old NCLEX exam? And what are the new types of questions they are putting into this? To start, I think the best part about the NGN exam is that there is partial credit. And this exam looks more like real world nursing and not nursing school kind of nursing. And like I said, they are testing clinical judgment in a new way. And this new way is through different types of questions. I will be reviewing all of these types of questions with you all in this video briefly, but if you want a more in-depth, in-detail review of these types of questions, I have linked a 56-page document in the description below, but I already went through all 56 pages for you all and condensed it into this video. So here we go. Let's get into the 14 new styles of NCLEX questions that are on the NGN exam. Here's a screenshot of the response types that you will find on the NGN exam. Some of these were already on the old exam, like multiple choice, but some of these are new, like the bow tie or drop down clothes, whatever that means. So let's get into it, let's review these. First is multiple choice. You will get one point for a correct answer and zero points for an incorrect answer. But the great thing is, that this is partial credit. So however many answers that you get correct in this question, you get those points. And you are not penalized for the incorrect answers. Next is the matrix multiple choice. This looks a lot like the multiple choice, but just a little bit different. Now this type of question I want you to pay close attention to. This one is confusing if you don't know how to answer this before going into NCLEX. This is called the multiple response select n. n is the number they will put in the question. The question could read, select the three components the client is at risk for developing. But look here, they say the candidate can select less than the stated number of keys, but they must select at least one. And I'm happy they made the partial credit change because you can still get partial credit on this question even if some of your three responses are not correct. All right, moving on to the drop down close. This simply is just filling in words to a paragraph. Again, partial credit in this one too, and similar to the close, they also now have drop down tables. And let's add one more, the multiple response, select all that apply. Same scoring technique also used here. Now let's move on to the bow tie. Now this is something that I've never seen before. I never had this in nursing school either. So pay close attention to this one. The bow tie really, really helps you put the whole situation together. In this example, you choose the action to take, potential conditions and parameters to monitor all in one question. Again, this is also partial credit, which really helps you in the end. And it's not an all or nothing deal. All right, we are already on our ninth and 10th types of NGN questions. These next ones are the highlight text and the highlight table, both scored the same. You will receive a paragraph or a table with highlighted tokenized text options. There can be up to 10 options to choose from. You then choose what options are correct by clicking on the tokenized text. You must, must, must read these questions carefully. I've attached a great video below from NCLEX Mastery that shows you how to answer these types of highlight questions. Also to receive 10% off your NCLEX Mastery subscription, check in the description below of this video and use the link that I have down there to get your discount. Almost there, the 11th type of question is called the matrix multiple response. Also this 
is with partial credit and looks almost identical to the matrix multiple choice. With a similar name, next is the multiple response grouping. This table will have a minimum of two groupings with a max of five. Now listen carefully. You have to select at least one option, but you can choose as many as you want that you believe apply. Again, with the awesome partial credit for this question too. Now these last ones are not partial credit. This is called the drop down rationale and there are two types of drop down rationale questions, dyads and triads. You complete the sentence from choosing options that they give you in the sentence. So right here will be an option, right here will be an option, and you choose. A dyad has two options, a triad has three options. But all of those little boxes that you are filling out have to be correct in order for you to get credit on this question. There is no partial credit in these types of questions. So what do you all think? Do you feel confident in understanding the NGN exam after watching this video? Do you feel like you're ready to take the NGN exam? There are so many resources out there to help you prepare for the NCLEX exam, but not a lot to prepare you for the NGN exam. And I may be a bit biased, but one really great option that you could use is through Overlearn Test Prep. Overlearn was started by two nurses, myself and my friend Selena. We have a YouTube channel regularly putting out videos to help you prepare for the NGN exam. And we also are selling study videos that we ourselves are in and tutoring you about the NGN exam and how to answer test prep materials and study guides on our Etsy shop. So go make sure to check out our shop and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Overlearn Test Prep. But that is it for today, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.